tell you there, sorry. And I have no, no ostrich, no emu, but I can um, give oh, you ladybird. Hello. We had a ladybird in our car yesterday. <laughs> so, <laughs> one of the native ladybirds. Oh, well done. They're the but, ones yeah. we like. Yes, I did try very hard for the emu and the ostrich. I found a tree. <laughs> I did, I did find, a, I found a wet dog in the Isle of Wight. I'll show you him later, but that's because he's in the sea. But just to show you that we're not just seeing the sunshine in Aberdeenshire, it's actually brightening up quite nicely in Bridlington at the moment. And we've seen some lovely sunrises sent in this morning, but equally it is quite grey and misty in a few areas and the clouds just been thick enough to give some of that early morning thick drizzle. For most of us though the weekend stays mild. It's been remarkably mild overnight for some areas. Sheffield not falling below 13 degrees Celsius and that's because it's cloudy and we will keep a lot of cloud, the patchy fogs lifting but where we have those breaks, where we've had the frost in the northeast of Scotland, it will be a super day with some sunshine here, some sunshine coming through elsewhere, not just the northeast of Scotland. We're seeing some across Northern Ireland, we're seeing some through the central lowlands towards St Andrews at the moment. There'll be brief glimpses of the sunshine east of the Pennines as we saw in Bridlington, Lincolnshire, East Andrews. Anglia. But the cloud is quite thick across Cumbria, Lancashire in particular at the moment, down through the Midlands, sitting on the hills as well, some, some hill fog around. But it won't last all day, it will tend to lift and things will brighten a little. But even if it's grey and cloudy with you, it should for the most part be dry so you can get out and about. Overnight tonight, there's a bit of a change. Our weather front that's close by will tend to intensify a little. It won't be raining all night and it won't be raining all day tomorrow, but it will provide thicker cloud and some showery outbreaks of rain. And of course, another mild night, very mild night for some of us. So if you're celebrating the Hindu festival of lights this evening, I think it should be largely dry. And of course, just another reminder, this is what we're looking forward to an extra hour of sleep overnight. Tomorrow, therefore, waking to another really rather grey start, some mists, some fog around again. And it is a different complexion for parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, not raining all the day. And actually, eastern areas of Northern Ireland, eventually eastern parts of Scotland might see some drier spells, interludes. The best of the dry weather after the early bits of mist and fog clear and the best of the sunshine is more likely to be in eastern and particularly southern areas later in the day. As for next week, that weather front to the north, it does slip its way south. There's not much rain on it, but it does introduce, not great for all, some colder air and some nighttime frost. Nagra and Charlie. Thanks very much. Look forward to that wet dog later, Helen. Thanks. 20 past nine now, the time.